and Emily here. Today we are going on a VHS find. Uh, my mum's actually with me holding the camera. Say hey mum. Hey. Uh, so what we're going to do is I uh, found on Facebook, I've been trying to look up stuff um, to find uh, whether it be gaming or retro stuff. There's not much been out there at the moment. I found a Super Nintendo for $100 but the guy said it's already going to be picked up. So unfortunately I couldn't get that. Um, but I found this VHS lot. So I confirmed with the guy it's a bunch of old school banger titles um, and they're mainly all X rentals which I love. So it's uh, $400 for $100. So it works out at 40 cents each. Uh, there's some of them that I may have already but I'm hoping that a lot of them um, are going to be ones that are new to the collection. So stay tuned, we're going to go to this dude's house and pick them up. I'm home everything is actually behind the camera I'm looking at uh, like the shopping bags one two three four five six seven eight nine a duffel bag and three boxes uh, pretty awesome stuff um, now obviously the last big lot of VHS that I ended up picking up I did get for free and but they were in pretty poor condition so I'm really happy that uh, this guy uh, was on Facebook marketplace and he just wanted to downsize um, he just recently sold his collection I think I said that in the car and um, so it's taken me about 10 15 minutes to get these out of the car um, and pile it in here and I thought I'm just gonna film it while I'm fresh now and I didn't see everything so every time I take the bags down to um, and the boxes down to the back of his house he had like a mini uh, games room that he had and um, yeah I just you know would drop them off and then cart the rest up to the car so I don't even know half of the things that are in here I just judged it based on um, what uh, I could see from the pictures and one of the main reasons why I drove all that way to pick them up was the three clamshells of Die Hard um, I might even finish with those three at the end because I can see what bag that they're in over there so let's get started on the first lot uh, some are X rentals some are normal um, standard release hope for home release and uh, yeah we'll go through it as quickly as possible so there's Joan of Arc I'm not gonna go through every single one but um, to look at the tape but yeah this they all seem like they're in really good condition so I don't have that one Frida speed I do have speed but I don't have the X rental version of it uh, so yeah I'm very 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 excited about that one I might make a couple of piles maybe the maybe pile uh, and then the pile that's definitely gonna get cleaned up and taken straight to the room the other pile will just have to wait for a while this one's another X rental it's of Jurassic Park. I do have one already. It's actually from the hometown that I used to live in. So um, I probably won't keep this version um, of it because I already have one that sort of means a lot more to me. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I love, 
I love Jurassic Park. That one actually came from um, Cooper Roo in Brisbane. A movie called The Edge. Jurassic Park 3. So cool. I love this big box. I don't have that. Meet Joe Black. Time for the big box. The Mummy Returns. Ransom and Virus. Really cool. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And also Far and Away. I forgot about this movie. And Patriot Games. Miami Blues. The Quiet Man. It's a John Wayne movie. Rain Man. How good. And an officer and a gentleman. Planet of the Apes. Minority Report. Memphis Bell. Ooh, collector's edition of The Rock. It's a widescreen version in very good condition. That is so cool. It's got a bonus feature it containing behind the scenes footage. Yes, that's cool. Another movie I actually forgot about, Kung Pao. Oh, oh my gosh, I absolutely forgot about that one. The Life of Brian is so good. So this is a Tom Hanks set. I uh, haven't seen this version before. Oh, it has a league of their own in there. And Philadelphia and Sleepless in Seattle. Not really a fan of Sleepless in Seattle, but I am a huge fan of a league of their own. Oh, awesome. The three Lord of the Rings. Uh, these ones actually came in some really cool cases. So one's green, one's red, and one's blue. Uh, I do already have these, I think. But I have a few friends that are huge fans of the series, so uh, that's actually a really good gift to give them. Batman Returns and Batman Forever. Ben-Hur. Oh, Unbreakable. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't see this in here! Please be good. Yes! I love this movie! Ghost Ship. Oh, that is so good! Bah! Ghost Ship's in there! He said he heard. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, that was worth the drive. I didn't see that in the list and I only went there for the diehards, well, technically, but um, oh, some more awesome titles in here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Batman Forever Behind the Scenes. Um, the making of the best Batman yet. I have not watched this. I didn't know this existed. Uh, oh, that is really cool. The Getaway. A Ghost in Monte Carlo. I don't think I've seen this movie. <gasps> Dances with Wolves. And it's an ex-rental one. Oh, that's a good movie. Okay, one of the most awesome movies ever. I do have an ex-rental, but this one is really, really clean. So I'm going to keep that one. Breakdown. Baby's Day Out. This seems to be the popular thing at the moment. I've come across Baby's Day Out so many times recently. Ooh, once bitten. Home Alone 2. Now this one's pretty wrecked in the case, but it's going to uh, clean up really, really well. And again, I like to collect for certain variants of movies uh, that I really, really love. And this is one of my favorite childhood movies. Let me know in the comment section if you love Home Alone. The Hurricane, The Green Mile, oh, and Stargate in a massive clamshell. We're not even finished yet of the first, like, one big box and one little bit. Like, guys, there's like nine boxes and, sorry, nine bags and one more box to go through. Ghost. The Cable Guy. Spirit. Toy Story 2. And Pokemon. Oh, I was waiting to find this. Now, I did see this in one of the pictures. It was another reason why I did want to go over and get it. I don't have this. This is an X rental and uh, it's from the Plains video of Home Alone. So... It's going to get a really good clean up these ones and go straight into the collection. Two boxes down, we're now on to... Oh, there's so much to go through. I'm going to run out of space. Little Women, the new Little Women I did not like. This is the original Little Women, women that I liked. My Best Friend's Wedding, awesome. Miss Congeniality, Seinfeld, awesome. The Blues Brothers, Cliffhanger. Crush. Oh, sweet. There's some Doctor Who in here. Braveheart. I already have that. The Ryan White story. St. Elmo's Fire. St. Fay Trail. Sabrina. Living Free? It says Elsa the Lioness was born free. Now her cubs are living free dangerously. I don't think I've ever watched that. Oh, I'm going to have to. That'll make its way to the top of the list. 
Two Fat Ladies and Seinfeld. Four Weddings and a Funeral. Ooh, hips, thighs, and buttocks. Doctor Who. Braveheart. Now, this looks like a different version of Braveheart. I think there's another one there. So there's two versions of it. Storm Boy. Whew. More to go through. Jack and Sarah, A Fish Called Wanda on VHS. I just picked this up on DVD. That is awesome. Jump Jack Flash. That's actually a classic. View from the top. Jack. Oh, The Piano. This is such a beautiful movie. The Rugrats movie and Notting Hill. There's actually the three special editions of Die Hard. So there's two of the first one for some reason and the second one. One bag down. Let's get them all out and we'll sort them. Second bag down. Okay, let's have a look through. Serendipity. Uh, I love this movie. I just picked it up on DVD the other day. And Fierce Creatures. So we just added uh, Fierce Creatures, I think, the other day on DVD. So yeah, to have that on VHS as well is really cool. A Hazard of Hearts. Ha! <laughs> Outbreak. I did not see that in there. So yeah, that's really cool. Definitely keeping that. Dirty Dancing. I have my original copy. The Great Caruso. Police Academy, Kimber the White Lion, uh, The Ten Commandments, Mannequin, Miss Congeniality, and Air Force One. Uh, this is a widescreen collector's edition, uh, remastered, so I'm definitely going to keep this. Sometimes I think I'm crazy for doing this and trying to save this stuff, but I don't want it to go also into landfill, so can't help it. Wrapped, this has got meatloaf in it. I've never seen this. The next Karate Kid, awesome! <gasps> Tango and Cash, Tomb Raider, such a classic, Young Guns, oh, yes, 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 how cool, come on now, oh, it's so good, Space Cowboys, oh, Silence of the Lambs, Hunt for the Red October. Oh, Stigmata. I recently just picked this up. I can't remember if I end up getting the X rental version of it. So I'll have to compare the quality of both of those. Ooh, The Last Crusade. How cool. I think that might be the one we're missing. I can't remember, but we are missing one of them. Um, oh, there's another version of it right here too. Oh, and The Lost Ark. How good. This is awesome. Back to the Future, one, two, three, box set in a collector's edition set. That is really, really cool. Here we go. Lethal Weapon, one, two, and three. Now, I actually have this set. I have the one with one, two, three, and four on VHS. This is cool though. I'm gonna keep both of them because I'm a huge fan of the Lethal Weapon movies. Top Gun, I already have Top Gun in that particular slip case. The Mummy Ultimate Edition, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. I do not have this on VHS. Oh, another bag down. This looks awesome. This is a, a Tom Cruise set. It's also in a um, cardboard case. So there's Mission Impossible, The Firm, Days of Thunder, and Top Gun in this pack. That is really, really cool. Let's get these out. Superman the movie and Superman 2. Another copy of Dirty Dancing. Cool Runnings Mum. Holy moly, I haven't seen this one before. This is the collector's edition of Jurassic Park and it's got a really neat red cover on it. Oh, The Nutty Professor and The Titanic again. Oh, The Three Amigos. I have not watched this for so long. ID4, oh, Gladiator. I actually missed picking this up the other day uh, when I was down there. I have a different version to this. This is the widescreen version. Another bag down. So we've got this big one and four over there and the four over there are overflowing. Oh my goodness. What's this one? Oh, disaster. Oh my God. How cool is this? I've never seen this before. Um, it's disaster in an emergency, remember? And it's like a survival kit of disaster movies from the 90s. And there is Twister, Dante's Peak, and Daylight in here. I think Retro Giver Guy is going to absolutely flip when he sees these box set ones. They're so cool. Okay, another one. 
Oh yes, classics. Uh, the Goldie Horn, um, house house sitter and bird on a wire. I absolutely love bird on a wire. Not a big fan of house sitter, but I definitely will watch that again. But bird on a wire with Mel Gibson is such a classic. <gasps> the full Monty in a yellow case. Okay. The Wedding Singer. Now, I can't remember if I have this already. I think I do, but I'll probably collect different variants of that movie because why not? It's Adam Sandler, Andrew Barrymore. They are one of my favorite on-screen couples in movies. Oh, E.T. This looks like a special edition of it. Again, in like a silver metallic case on the front. Very cool. Two Weeks Notice. The Matchmaker. I've never heard of that one. Only Fools and Horses, so I take it that must be a comedy TV show. Another uh, copy of Sabrina. <gasps> the Aqua Diary. Oh, cool. So cool. I picked that up the other day too. Man from Snow River. I actually have this already, but I think I've got it on beta. Runaway Bride, Sweet Home Alabama, and True Lies. <sighs> Four more bags to go through. Oh, the last four bags. I don't know if there's more than 400 here. There seems to be quite a lot. Okay, so, uh, Indy uh, and the Temple of Doom. Unfortunately, this was one of those special ones that were released here in Australia that came in the cardboard case and they've cut it to put it in one of these. What, what a shame. MIB in the green case. I actually have this. Oliver and Company, one of the very few VHS Disney movies that I don't own. Under Siege 2. Ooh, South Park Volume 8 and Noddy. Let's get some of these out of this bag. Oh, there's some good movies already. Oh! Starship Troopers widescreen collector's edition. So this is the third one type of this uh, video. So I found, um, I can't even remember which ones they went out, but there's definitely two over there. Um, it's in Good Nick. Ooh, Platoon, Oliver Stone, yeah. Chevy Chase, European Vacation. The Unforgiven, out of Africa. The others already have this. Moulin Rouge again. The First Night. Face Off, already have this, but yeah, it's always good to see another copy of it. And another River Dance. Second last bag. The Night Before Christmas, Disney Sing Along, A Friend Like Me. Uh, Happy Gilmore, yes. In your whole bowl. My Fair Lady, E.T., there's another version of that. So the other one didn't have um, anything written. It just had the silver on it. So I'm going to compare both of these. This one says it includes special footage. Um, so let me know if you like E.T. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't have this. I don't even have it on DVD, except the VHS looks a little moldy. So I'm going to have to start looking into how to pull them apart and cleaning the mold off. Someone actually that I follow on Instagram, uh, I think it's Boski's, said that it's the mold can come back too so sometimes it's not worth it um, but legends of the fall oh vertical limit i think i might already have this one though but i'm gonna put in this thing oh i walk in the clouds i've got oh showgirls all right last bag uh pretty pumped about this because there's some pretty cool titles in here x rental men in black x rental a knight's tale this Totally awesome copy of Cliffhanger in a pink pen. I'm so excited, I can't even say it. A pink clamshell. So cool. All right, so this is probably one of the favorite uh, franchises that I've followed um, loving movies as much as I do and collecting movies. I still have my original copies, but I couldn't say no to picking up this pack because of this stuff. So there is Die Hard X Rental in a huge clamshell. Then there is Die Harder, so Die Hard 2, another one. And then there is the best Die Hard, which is Die Hard 3. And um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about finally having these in these big cases. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if anyone else is a huge, absolute huge fan um, of this series, but I for sure, for sure I, I am. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy that I picked these up. It made it all worth worthwhile traveling over there. So all up, um, I think it took me 
um, you know, half an hour, 35 minutes during the time of day that I went. So I went in the middle of the day and then around the same to get home and a hundred dollars for all these VHS. So there's quite a lot that I don't own and different box sets here that I would like to keep. And then all of these ones need to be sorted out and whether or not we want to keep them or not. So obviously there's Rugrats, a lot of the kids ones, different variants of things like Titanic, Cool Runnings, Dirty Dancing, um, but otherwise I pretty much will let some of my friends know if they, when they collect videos, if they would like to grab some of them. The other ones I might just, uh, try and resell or trade, but, um, for other VHS with friends that they might have doubles of. But yeah, let me know if you collect VHS and anything retro or that you don't want to see it go to the tip. I definitely don't want to see things get thrown out. Um, obviously you can't help it when they're full of mold and they're dirty too much like that copy of uh, Minority Report, even though it's in a cool case, um, there's probably no saving it. So some things do need to go to the bin, but I'd love to save these types um, of things from going to landfill. So I feel like it's a job well done today. Um, but until next time, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Check out my other videos, which are in the cards above. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.